welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. I'm going to make my pot roast today. Some of you may have already seen this in a previous episode of Just the Neighbors, but I am going to put it on nibbling with the neighbors and I'm making it just slightly different. The reason I'm making this is because we are having company tonight. Angie Lupus Life and Jay the Cannabis Explorer are coming over for dinner and they saw my recipe and they really want to try my pot roast. So I'm going to make it for them. So the basics are a pot roast, Lipton onion soup mix, one packet, cream of mushroom soup. This is what I'm making differently. I'm going to add some golden mushroom soup to it as well. You can do just do the two soups and not the Lipton onion soup mix. Your call. Mushrooms, onion, and carrots. And then on the side, I am going to make some baked sweet potato, and people can butter them, mash them, salt them, whatever they want to do. So we all know the very first thing we have to do is put our pot roast in our crock pot and stab the meat. <sighs> Wonder who I always think of when I do this? I'll never tell. My next step is I'm going to take my pack of Lipton onion soup mix and I'm going to just dump that into a bowl and I'm going to add some hot water to it and just whisk it up a little bit, just enough to make it liquidy, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to pour that over the pot roast. So I'm whisking this up and just kind of trying to dissolve the powdery stuff a little bit. It's not going to dissolve completely and mix in completely because you're not really cooking it. It's basically going to look just like that. So now that I have it all mixed up, uh, can you see me over in this corner? Yeah. I'm just going to pour that right over top of the pot roast. You're going to have all the onions in there. I kind of just leave them laying on top of the pot roast. Then you're going to peel your carrots and cut the ends off. I already peeled them, so now I'm just going to cut the eggs off. Now you can also use the baby carrots that are already um, cut and peeled for you, but we like to use the organic grown whole carrots peel them ourselves and cut them ourselves. So I cut the ends off, now I'm going to cut these into small discs and put them in the crock pot okay, as well. Okay, so now that I cut up all the carrots, I rinsed them off, now I'm just going to pour them into the crock pot. There we go. And now I already bought cut mushrooms, normally you would buy, I would buy, um, or you could buy, either way. Um, whole mushrooms and slice them, but I always, always, always wash my mushrooms off. Okay, so I washed all the mushrooms off and added them to the crock pot. So the only thing left to add now is the onion and the soups. So I'm going to chop up my onion right now and I will add that and I will show you everything what it looks like before I add my soups. Again, when you're chopping the onion for a dish like this, you don't want it chopped fine because you want to be able to taste the pieces of onion. So I leave them sliced like this, and then what I do is I break them up so they're not like cooked on top of each other. They're separated in the pan, in the crock pot. So after I'm done cutting them up, I will break those up separately and put them into the crock pot. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We have the pot roast in there. We have the Lipton onion soup mix. We have mushrooms, onions, carrots, and green beans. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my cream of mushroom soup 
and my golden mushroom soup with just one can of water because with the Lipton onion soup mix and the water that I had already put in and both cans of soup and one can of water that'll make just enough gravy to make everything nice and juicy okay so what I did with the soups because they are so thick is I poured both soups into a bowl with one can of water and I'm just mixing it up with a whisk because if you just pour it right into your crock pot you're going to have one big clump of soup so I'm doing this to mix it all up together to make it so when I pour it over the soup it's still kind of thick but when I do pour it into the crock pot it's not like one big clump and get all of it in there Okay, and then I'm going to set my crock pot, um, even though I got a later start than what I had hoped to have gotten, I am going to set my crock pot to cook on low for eight hours. We're going to be eating earlier than that. It should be done sooner than that, but this way it takes its time cooking. The meat will just fall right apart because it'll soak up all the juices and just be really really yummy the best part about cooking in a crock pot is we can leave this cook for a while while we run out because I have to run another errand um, before our guests get here tonight so we're gonna let this cook we will check back in with you later to let you know how it's turning out so we just got back from running our errand and here is what we have so far hasn't been cooking for that long yet but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Hello everybody, so here we are. It's three o'clock and I am going to check on the pot roast. Let's see what it looks like. Here is what we have. Oh, doesn't that look so good? And here's the pot roast right there. Right there. It still has a while for the roast to cook. But look at all those vegetables and look at that gravy. Hello everybody. What I'm going to do with our sweet baked potatoes is I'm going to cook them on a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. And I'm going to cook them in the oven for about 45 minutes on 400. But I get to do the favorite thing I like to do most. I have to puncture them with a fork several times so I'm gonna do that it's too early to put them in the oven yet but I'm gonna get them ready here is the amazing pot roast look at all those delicious vegetables and onions and there's the pot roast oh, that looks so delicious still okay so the pot roast is looking really, really yummy. I may turn it up a little bit and let it cook a little bit faster um, in a little while, but we still have, we're not planning on eating till six and it's only 421, so we still have time. But right now, I'm gonna go stab myself some sweet potatoes. Catch y'all later. Okay guys, so the pot roast is ready and Kevin's yawning. And he is sliced, has sliced it all up. How's it look? It's good. Looks yummy, yummy. And I put all the veggies in this bowl here. Okay, so here we are with a complete pot roast dinner with <laughs> little Lucy. And oh, my, my baby girl, who's not such a baby anymore. Uh, we got baked sweet potatoes with gravy, we got pot roast, and we got vegetables. So, dinner is served. Okay, so Megan has eating, is eating just vegetables right now. <laughs> this is for nibbling with the neighbors. This is a serious channel, not a goofy channel. I don't really? know what that is. Oh, well, I wasn't told that. <laughs> nibbling with the neighbors is a serious channel? <laughs> That's right. Nibble, nibble, nibble. So, how do you like the vegetables? Good. Can you steal some of my green beans? Yeah. No, I bought a whole bag. Tasty, aren't they? 
You're a bean thief. I bought a whole bag. Um, so one thumb up or two thumbs up for the vegetables? I don't have enough thumbs. Aw, that's mm. so sweet. How gushy, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jay, what have you tried so far? The pot, pot roast, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Pot good? Roast. Yummy yum. Yummy yum? Mm -hmm. Okay, two, two thumbs, thumbs up, up for the pot roast. <laughs> Angie, what have you tried so far? I have tried the potatoes, I've tried the pot roast, and I've tried the vegetables, and everything is really spot on good. And anybody who knows Angie knows that I'm she. Very picky. <laughs> well, not that she's very picky, that she's very outspoken, and if she doesn't really like it, honest. she would be honest with yeah. me. <laughs> like me. And Kevin? If I don't like it, I will tell you. Yes, I know. You will need it. If you, if it's fish, he'll try it. But if he doesn't like it, I usually have chicken in the refrigerator. It's got the back up. <laughs> yep. So, how was dinner? Good. Thumbs? Two thumbs and half a finger. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go, everybody. That wraps up another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. And we'll catch you next Thursday. Ha, ha, ha.